the 60s, it's gonna get even lower as the mic goes on. We're about to see the Christmas, Christmas, <laughs> the Christmas castle be lit up by none other Frozen. than Elsa, by Elsa, the queen. Put a comment down below if you're still bitter. We are big Frozen fans. Huge. More, more of a fan than your your average Joe. We had the yeah. soundtrack in our car we for a long time. Saw the trailer. Went to go like Literally for the first like, time. Went straight to the air, airport. Straight, <laughs> straight to the um, what's that called? The movie theater. Are you okay? No. Um. But why is it so dark? I don't know. You can see us now. But why should they light up the castle? It's Cinderella's castle. Cinderella should light up Cinderella's castle with the fairy godmother. We're gonna, that just I'm makes put sense. A clip that I'm gonna get from the internet of us at the Cinderella's Christmas Wish from our college program. At somebody else's video, you can just see us. But don't you think Cinderella should be the one who decides how to decorate the castle? After all, my dears, she lives here, you know. You know, I always loved the way my glass slippers twinkle and shine in the light. Do you think the castle could look like that? I drove Peter to work today so that we could get here on time. Four. But it's truly going to be a photo finish because it it's at 6:15. And it's what 5:40 right now. We have to. We parked at the Grand Floridian. Yeah. I my bus smells like chili. I really need water, and it all depends on the monorail. It might actually be too cold for the monorail to run. What if the? It is not. What if mm, the cement rail? No, we, it's, look at behind us. Whoa. <laughs> the actual monorail. I really. That only happens when it's like 40 degrees. Oh, people are swimming still. <laughs> Actually, nobody's swimming. It's just the two lifeguards are being really loud and fun. Brace yourself for all the smells. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We don't. All you can do is look at basking. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas. Christmas time for everyone. It's Christmas time and magic. Oh no, just a Wednesday evening. Just a Wednesday evening in North America. There's a wall right here. North There's America. a wall right there. Here's a car, but wait. It's Christmas time in the magic kingdom. And I am so happy. <laughs> Me too. Wow. We have not been here yet this year with the Christmas. I mean, no, I don't think we saw in January of last year with the Christmas. So this is. There's our toy no, boy. We did, we did. There's the toy boys. Matt. Wow. Dom. Where are you? Alright, did we say we're meeting up with our friend Keaton? We did not. We're meeting up with Keaton. He's heading to the hub right now. So we're heading to the hub. And because we're we need watch to see this, this castle beautify. Beautify? Beautify. Beautify. Oh. oh, look at the little toy boys. Look at the little toy boys. Look at the little truck and the big jack. What? Look at the horse. Look at the lights. We need a Christmas tree right now. We're literally hoping to get one the day we fly back from Chicago after the wedding. That's too late. The next day. The next day. The next day. Well, I can hear the Christmas music. And I, guys, I haven't gotten used to the new Main Street decorations. And I just, every, and I, I know we just talked about it how this was yesterday, but I turned the corner and I was like, oh, I, it's still so magical. It's beautiful, and magical, but these little arches, these white arches with wreaths, are not the same, but they are beautiful. Especially when at the end of this beautiful Main Street, that castle is covered in crystal ice. The calm before the storm. Pretty full hub. 
We're trying to find Keaton now. We told him to send us a photo. But either way, you can't really be in a bad spot for the lighting. Okay, we got the picture of where he is. This is Keaton says he's near the hub. Oh my and god, he's not I'm, in the not, hub. I'm not in, I'm near. You're near, you're not oh in. God. We gotta get closer. I'm so sorry. We walked right past you. Everything looks so gorgeous. Don't know the holidays can be so beautiful. Where's Alonso? Uh, he was right behind us. Have any of you seen our friend Olaf? <gasps> Look at all the people. Well, wouldn't you all like to see Elsa cover the castle? seen it? Yeah. What do you think? Magic. Bright. Bright. Super oh my bright. god. <laughs> there was like Beautiful. a lot of build up and then I was just like bam. I was like oh okay. <laughs> Should still be Cinderella. I didn't see that version but I'll go off of YouTube. You it. <laughs> oh that does exist. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go on the people mover before our first fast pass. A lot of people. Are you vlogging me? Yeah. It's busy. <laughs> Keaton got the plaid, the plaid memo. We're all matchy match. Is this plaid? It's plaid. It's plaid. It's plaid. It's plaid. Yeah, you can only hang out with us if you wear plaid. Plaid. We wear plaid on Wednesdays. Oh my goodness, it is quite busy tonight. We haven't even been able to vlog since the people mover because it has been so jam packed. We went the long way around um, to go to Big Thunder Mountain. We have a fast pass for it. I can, there's Christmas. In Frontierland. So, um, so yeah, it feels good to be back. We really haven't been here since before Halloween. So, um, I don't know. My heart is happy. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was great. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at that magic. They like move so they like hold on to your accessories. Also, um, me and Keaton got front row, and that was the first time you ever got front row. Another new experience for you. I found the world's most cold water in Magic Kingdom. Cue the shot. Now we got Splash Mountain over there. Splash Mountain bathrooms and gift shop. Three of the most delicious water fountains. Honestly, the best water fountains I've ever had in, in Magic Kingdom and second best in all of Walt Disney World. They are absolutely freezing. It's not filtered, tastes like fire water, but absolutely cold. Awesome. What's next? J jung jingle, jungle? jingle Jingle Jungle Cruise. Jingle Jungle Cruise. We're sitting and we're waiting. We decided that we're gonna do jingle jingle cruise jingle bam. Keaton's never done that. Another thing for him first for Christmas at Magic Kingdom. Awesome. Then we're gonna ditch here. Go back to Grand Floridian. Hopefully the gingerbread house will still be open. We'll get to enjoy it. And there's two vegan options. I was gonna get a monster earlier. 
but I said instead. What is this angle? This is an extreme uh, headshot. Wow. wow. So we're gonna get vegan options. Keaton's probably gonna get a monster, and then we're gonna kidnap him to bring him home. He's ordered for me. Yep. You made that choice for me. I like it. After a solid 30 minutes of talking about our relations and relationships and small town histories, the fast pass line has dropped. Jingle, jingle, jingle. If you're the slave of free. So your ghost of Christmas past, present, and future, your Grinch that stole Christmas, your childless millennial, and if you don't laugh at my jokes, well, uh, I'll be your swimming instructor. Yeah. Ball! That's what I thought. Uh, they're ball humbugs. Yeah. We have a lot of bugs here in the jungle. If you feel a little itch or a scratch, you probably just have to flee his knobby dog. Wait. Only open up one present, not all the presents. Uncle Jeff, put that down. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. Very tough to navigate the Nile this time of year, though. Has a very strong Yule tide. Looks like the Lions won the big Thanksgiving game. Okay, yeah, uh, I see how they did it. They, uh, they ate the ref. Okay, let's get out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, the eighth wonder of the world, the... This is Trader Sam. He's the older brother of Trader Joe, and he's also our head salesman in the jungle. That was. That was good. So I want to see that skipper not during Christmas, because a lot of this, the Christmas jokes, if you're regular on Jungle Cruise, like you know of it, if you've been on it more than once, you're like, oh, this is different. So it's funny because it's different. So different. But he pulled the Disney Plus joke. I don't know if we got that on camera or not. He pulled a, a rock joke, like Dwayne Johnson joke. That was good. Yeah. He was quirky, but I think a child, he, yeah, he made a child, <laughs> childless millennial joke. Jonas Brothers, Jonas Brothers joke. <laughs> and then all the Christmas jokes too. That was really good. He also did like a stick up. Like he was going to take our money, but he just had a stick. Hey. And then he goes, he <laughs> I've been holding this stick in my pocket for eight hours now just for one joke. Commitment. <laughs> and now we're committed to the Grand Floridian. Well, right? Yeah, nice transition. Sure We're backstage and I feel weird filming. Yeah. <laughs> They're welcoming it kind of with these cars. Yeah, they got cool cars. We're giving, this is Keaton's first time, another first. Oh my gosh. So many. This backstage, we're showing him, look at you can see the Jungle Cruise boats over there. Oh my gosh. Well, I used to walk this way when I was stuck and bring things to Lost and Found. Too good to pass. Okay, so we got little gingerbread men. They're from Aaron McKenna. Thank you so much. I just cannot believe it's already this beautiful time. We accidentally ate it before we showed it. But here it is. <laughs> Look, it's another first for Keaton. Walking, we decided to walk to the Grand Floridian DBC building. First time for the for the everything. For the, this thing too. What's it called? Are a fountain. Fountain. Do you live? Do you live? Are you a passenger? <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. But we have to. We must go. We must go. All right. Today, November fourteenth, and today's from Epictetus. It's not what happens to you, but how do you react to it that matters. We're home. It's just about midnight. I didn't go on a run, but I had to do a little bit of work before going to the office to start my day off hopefully on a better foot. So cranking away, still had some project work. Um, now it's time to go to bed. And she's like amped for some reason right now. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>